We all know about the burning of Helgen. We know about the execution of Rogvir and the death of the High King. Tragedies, all of them. But what about the people out of clear view? The people who still met some horrible end, but their stories were never told, or never found. Well, today I'm going to be listing five hidden tragedies in Skyrim. Let's get into it. Starting off with number five, we have a story that's a lot more complicated than usual. It's not like, oh, your parents won't let us be together, so now I have to kill myself, that kind of thing. There's a lot more to this. I'm talking about the story of Usha. You can find him in a small hideout to the northwest of Ashfalo Citadel on Solstheim. After looking around his body, you'll see that he committed suicide by overdosing on skooma. Now, what led him to do this, which you can find out by reading the note right there on his table, is that he had a lover, Monisa, and her family, they wouldn't let them be together. They thought he was too poor, and they didn't want their daughter living in poverty. And this obviously created enough tension that Usha came to this very stream here to try and pan for gold, build up his wealth. And seeing the amount of ore that he has, it actually seems like it was going pretty well, but here's where it gets more complicated. There are, there are more valuables around. He has a big coin purse and all this skooma, and that's pretty expensive. A chest filled with um, expensive rings and gems. And now, of course, all that gold ore. It doesn't look like he was poor at all. And yet, he still killed himself. In the letter, Monisa even says she convinced her father to look past how much coin he has, but it still wasn't enough. So whether it was drug addiction or maybe depression, thinking that he would never be good enough for her, we can't exactly be sure, but something had been troubling Usha more than just what her parents thought of him. Number four, we have someone who could wait a lifetime if it meant seeing their lover's face. This takes place at Treese's camp. You can find this just next to Pilgrim's Trench, and this is on the northern shores of Skyrim. When you get there, you'll find a skeleton on a bedroll. This is the body of Treus. He had been waiting weeks, at the very least, for his lover Shelley to pass by. See, apparently she was on a ship that should have already come this way, but it hasn't, and there's no telling when it might, so he would wait, as long as he has to. He'll hunt for his own food, gather supplies, and keep this campfire lit until she returns. But the sea in these parts, it's very cruel. Glaciers sit in the icy waters, like castles, content to be ruling where they are. They see ships as very fragile, so they sink. And considering how many have been ruined right here in the water, it's very possible Shelley was on one of these ships. Well, maybe when Trius was out hunting and he missed it, she drowned. And Trius, coming back, still waiting, forever waiting, eventually fell asleep from the cold. Perhaps now they both rule among the castles. Number three, we have two lovers fighting desperately to get back to one another. You can find this at Hroldolf's house to the southeast of Ravenrock, also on Solstheim. Now, if you go into the basement, you'll end up eavesdropping on a conversation between two reavers. They're making fun of a letter that they just found. And if you read it, you'll understand what's going on. A man named Hroldolf came here, but it wasn't long before he started hearing noises from underground, dark, mechanical, vibrating all through his bones. It started driving him crazy, picking at every thought that he had. So he dug way down until he hit metal. See, it was a Dwemer machine of some kind that was calling out to him. Now, as he was in the process of losing his mind, he sent a letter to his current lover, a man named Bjornulfer, who was in solitude about what was going on. And of course, Bjorn, he was very worried. He wanted Roldolf to come back to solitude, leave all that behind. But the thing is, when you go down into the tunnel, it's Bjorn's body that you find. How does that make sense? Well, Roldolf was actually on his way back. If you go south to the shore, you'll find his body. It's being guarded by a burnt Spriggan. It seems this thing killed him as he was trying to leave. And on the boat nearby, you can still see the valuables he was going to bring with him. An amulet of Mara and a gold ring. He was going to propose, get his mind back to normal with the help of his lover. And Bjorn, who simply couldn't wait any longer for him to come back, traveled all the way to this very house, only to be hunted down by Reavers when he finally got to the very bottom. They hadn't even realized how close they both were, and yet, both of them died not knowing where the other one was. Number two, we have a small fishing trip. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that, right? You can find this to the west of the Wreck of the Winter War, and this is in the very northeast of Skyrim. Here we have a quiet, modest camp with two tents. These belong to Skegger and Advard. If you read the nearby journal, you'll learn that Skegger had been trying to get Advard to come and fish with him at this location. Apparently, there were a lot of fish here. Plus, when they're done, all right, they can enjoy mead and tell stories around the fire. So, all right, reluctantly, Advar did agree. But he knew he didn't want to stay here long. In fact, Skegger's boat, it was already leaking a little bit, so he just wanted to do this and get it over with. Well, one day they took the boat out, and it's true, there were a lot of fish, certainly they were biting. 
more than usual, stronger than usual, and before they could return to shore, a huge pack of slaughterfish overturned the boat. The two men spilling into the water stood no chance. They were torn apart, eaten all the way through. Not even the fat was left behind, just pure bones. And this must have happened recent enough that if you come here, you can still see their skeletons drifting away, out into the infinite sea. And number one, we have the highest body count on the list. Five Khajiit traders, as well as two horses, had been ambushed and killed so quickly that they're still set up in the line they were moving in. You can find this to the south of Orphan Rock. This is down in Skyrim Snowy Mountains. When you approach, it's clear that this was a trading caravan that was attacked. Thing is, when you get close, you're ambushed by the same bandits that did this. Revenge has come right to you. I trust that you lacked on it. Now when they're dead, you can take a closer look at what happened. There are arrows, some on the carts, some on the ground. So what the archers weren't able to hit, the other bandits then rushed in and killed the rest before they could jump out. It all happened very quickly. Now, something worth noting is this must have happened very recently. Obviously, the bandits, they're still in the area. And if they decided to make this their new ambush spot, you know, steal anything they can from travelers who come by, they would want to remove the remains of these Khajiit as soon as possible. If someone comes by and sees the wreckage, even from a distance, they're going to run away before they get within range. So, this must have just happened. If only, Dragonborn... You would come five minutes before. And there you have it, five hidden tragedies in Skyrim. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And down below, please tell me, are there any other encounters you would add to this list? <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching. Surely you, Dragonborn, will have a big ceremony when you finally pass away. Many will remember you. But the question is, will you remember them?